In this quick tutorial, we're going to be talking about layers and masks. These are extremely important to understand before we go ahead and retouch a photo. Over here in our layers panel, which if you cannot see it, you could come up here to your window and click on toggle the layers button on and your layers panel should show. And let's say we come over here to the adjustment wheel and we want to change the color of the house. So what we do is let's say open up a hue and saturation layer. So this is an adjustment layer on top of our background layer. We now have our properties for the hue and saturation and we could go ahead and change the color by just coming over here and changing it to where we like it. So let's say we like this yellow color but obviously she doesn't look good and we want to mask her out. So that's when masks kick in and that's this white square right over here. This white square represents our entire image. When it's white, that means that this adjustment is visible. If that mask is black, command I will invert it. That means that the, the adjustment layer is not visible. Let's go ahead and turn that back to white. And now what we could do is paint on that mask and we could make the mask black in certain areas. So where do we want to make it black? On her face to bring back the original color of her face. So what we need to do is take our brush. We go ahead and hit shortcut B for brush and you have a black and white swatches over here. So we have black on top which is what we want. We want to paint black on her face. So we're not actually painting black on her face right now. We're painting on the mask right here. So if you click alter option and click on the mask it'll show you where you've been painting. So right now we're really painting like this and click again alter option click on the mask and now you can see that we were painting right here on her. If we by mistake go like this on the background, you could easily fix that by switching your brush back to white. So if you look over here on your mask, you have all kinds of black and white going on here. And this mask represents the image. So you can see that black line that we just drew across here. So to revert that, you don't have to go back to your history. All you need to do is switch your brush to white. And to do that, you hit the X button. The X button switches between the two layers that you have over here. And now we could paint back with our white brush right over here. So right now again what we're doing is we're really just painting on the mask. We were painting that line that we made before. And hit alter option again. Another way to see your mask is by just hitting the backslash button above your enter button. And it'll show you where you've been painting. So again X will make my brush black and now this is just a quick way to see where you're painting. You could look at this as a guide. Whatever is red, red represents the black on the mask. Because if we had looked at the mask this way, well you can't really see where you're painting and where you haven't painted yet. But another shortcut and guide to see where you're painting is by hitting that backslash button above your enter button. So let's say we want to paint out that background too because we like the color of those trees. And if we hit backslash again, that goes back. So you could see that little bit of that cyan halo around here. You could make your brush smaller and just go ahead and paint in a little bit closer. So masks, the reason why they're so amazing to use is 20 steps down the line. Let's say you went ahead later on and will duplicate the background layer. And put that layer on top and actually leave it down on bottom. And let's go ahead and do some damage to this second background layer. We'll take a brush and paint right on the layer. Let's say we want to say hello over here. Well we just painted right here on that background layer. So you could turn that on and off and you could see how layers work. They all layer up on top of each other and you see the top layer first. So right now if I turn this off we're seeing the background layer. If I turn off the background layer well, you see nothing there. Let's go ahead and open up another mask. This is the mask button right here at the bottom of your layers button uh, at your layers panel. And you have right over here your mask. So now we could go ahead and mask out part of that hello without actually destruct destructively erasing the layer. Because if we come over here and 
the and erase the actual layer we're actually erasing pixels and we don't want that because let's say later on you decide you do want the full hello there so come over here onto the mask and again a black brush is going to make it that part of that portion of the layer hidden and then if you brush with a white brush it's going to make it visible so let's go ahead and hit x for a black brush and what we'll do is erase the e so right now we didn't actually erase that e from the, that layer all we did was we painted black on the mask so option again and you can see how i painted black and whatever is black means it's not visible so now that we've spoken about layers and masks we can go ahead and speak about shortcuts next